Yo, what's going on everybody? Charlie checking in. Happy Thursday afternoon to all of you guys. Uh, throwback Thursday. I'm having myself some Armor Lunchables. <laughs> Ain't had a uh, Armor Lunchable in a, a, a long time. I didn't even know that Armor made Lunchables. Is, is this a lunch? No, oh, look, this is a lunch maker. Look at Michael trying, trying to uh, uh, squeeze one over him. He's like, I got a Lunchable for you. Well, anyway, pretty much Lunchables. This is a lunch maker. It's got two uh, crunch bars inside of here. We got ourselves a Hawaiian punch, fruit juicy red, uh, turkey, cured white turkey, light pasteurized, processorized uh, American cheese, uh, butter, uh, butter crisp crackers, Nestle crunch bars, and the Hawaiian punch fruit juicy red, baby. Ooh, good stuff. So, so, and I also got myself a water here. I didn't know it came with a juice. Um, yeah, uh, but I remember back in the day, dude, if you had yourselves a Lunchable or one of these, man, uh, at school, you were the man, dude. And Michael made sure he always had one, brother. Um, it reminded me of a story, dude. I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys a little throwback story while I eat a little throwback lunch. Here's our little boy. I tell you what, this juice weighs more than the whole. <laughs> this juice weighs more than the whole package here. But still, if you had a Lunchable at school, you were the man, dude. And I remember the commercials, dude, uh, uh, you know, just completely transformed you. You know, everyone sitting there eating lunch and hung, 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 eating their sandwiches and, and crackers and stuff. And all of a sudden, this guy opens up his freaking, his, his, uh, uh, his lunchbox and wow, no, 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 no. Everyone's riding waves of Hawaiian punches and on, on crackers and cheese, you know, and <laughs> giving each other high fives and, the, the principal walks in, you know, looking like a, uh, like a, uh, like Scrooge McDuck, you know, what's going on here, you know, and somebody hands him a Lunchable and all of a sudden, it shows him uh, riding a wave on a cracker with everyone and school's out, guys. <laughs> Some kind of crazy, that was, that was like your typical 90s uh, commercial right there, so, yeah. Um, I remember, damn, let's get a little sip of this. Ah, nectar of the gods. So, um, yeah. Anyway, hold on a second. What am I doing here? Okay. <laughs> anyway, I thought I lost something there for a second, but I'm all good. I just lost my mind. So, here we go to make ourselves a Lunchable. With the best Kermit the Frog voice that I can do. And some more crunches. Some more crunches here. So, I remember, whoo, not too bad. So, um, like I said, I remember one time, like, we used to always go out to eat. All right, this comes on the, the tale of uh, me wearing this dress for Michael's, uh, <laughs> for me and Michael's date that's soon to come. Mmm. 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 So, supposed to have been 40,000 likes. <laughs> you guys are already at 25,000 likes. <laughs> It ain't even been a full day yet. So, looks like I'm going on a date with Michael soon. <laughs> Damn it! Ah! So, pretty sure I'll be going out dress shopping and stuff here soon. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make it fun. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make, I'm going to make Michael embarrassed. So, <laughs> anyway, um, like I said, Michael used to always get Lunchables almost, almost every night. And you get two of them, one for dinner and one for school the next morning. And um, we didn't keep food in the house, you know. We, we couldn't keep food in the house. Uh, four kids, man, we just, as soon as it hit the refrigerator, man, as soon as it hit the racks, gone, you know. <laughs> and uh, so, like, we'd go to the store every single night to get, get dinner, right? And... Uh, this particular night, I remember, I guess I asked Michael about it, and he said he don't remember. So I guess he was he was with Dad or, and Mom or whoever went to the store. And it was me, Jennifer, Kimberly, and a couple of uh, their friends uh, at the house. It was just us. And so I guess I was showing off for the girls, right, <laughs> for, for Jennifer and Kimberly's friends. And uh, <laughs> I put on this freaking Tommy Hilfiger dress. <laughs> I mean, it was it was thin, uh, slim fit, you know, spaghetti strap, 
blue with a little white and yeah, uh, white and red Tommy flag on it. And my bulge was kind of popping out a little bit. <laughs> and um, I'm dancing around and I'm doing my thing and you know making them laugh and stuff and whatnot. And uh, <laughs> we damn, they dare me to go outside, <laughs> you know, dressed like that. So I'm like, all right. So I damn. I walk outside, I run out to the road, I'm sitting there dancing, hey, 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 dancing, and then I'm shaking my shit. <laughs> oh, mm. oh I'm so hot. Mm. I was a mouthful. <laughs> All right, so I'm at the street, dancing in my dress. <laughs> and, and, there weren't no cars coming though. <laughs> I was seeing cars coming. And as soon as the start, the car does start to come. As soon as the car gets 30 yards away, I'm like, <laughs> I start running back towards the house. Boom, 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 boom. My sister and all their friends, they're on the porch, right? And as soon as I get almost to the porch, Boom, they hit the house and go to shut the door on me. <laughs> so that I'm out here with all these cars driving by in this damn dress, you know? And I mean, no sooner do they get that door shut than I hit the threshold and boom, and I get my little toe. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna take my toe off right here. My toe off, my sock off. I don't think y'all can see it now. Um, but I get just my little toe in that damn door and uh, they slammed that freaking door shut and it jammed the the, the the bottom right hand corner of that freaking door that and the jam was stuck in between my freaking toe right there and i mean it feels like it's freaking breaking about to rip the frick off so here i am <laughs> here i am out front and this damn uh, one-piece Tommy dress, <laughs> thigh high, <laughs> pushing on his door, partly screaming for my life, partly even in pain. <laughs> toe, toe stuck all in the door, bleeding like crazy. <laughs> and these guys, my sister and them, they think that. You know that I'm just flipping out because the cars are, you know, you know, cars are riding by could potentially see me. You know, by now I'm, you know, our yard re was recessed back a good, you know, 20 yards. Oh, excuse me. And uh, <clears throat> so the cars really wouldn't have been able to see me. And I mean, so I was screaming in pain. I was like, open the damn door. <laughs> you know, because I mean, I was being mutilated, man. You know. And, uh, and, but they just thought it was a game, you know, they were just, he, 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 he just kept going. And so finally, man, I was like, oh my God, it was like, like the worst, like cross-eyed, I was like, ah, boom, I just gave it all I could, man, and just sent them launching. <laughs> I just sent them flying, man, and I ran in, I was like, oh my God, I felt out like, fully expecting to look down and see no toe. I mean, was, honestly, I was looking down and see at least if anything, and hanging by like a little thread, like a little tendon or something. But uh, mm. Mm. but it was all in sack, man. This is good. You know, I like the adult versions of these that you get at uh, Christmas parties and stuff. They come with the cheese and platters, cheese and meat platter. Mm. Pretty much Lunchables for adults. So, yeah, that was, that was not my first, <laughs> I just thought of it, it was not my first time wearing a dress. <laughs> so, I don't know if many of y'all remember this or familiar, I've already, I think I've already told this joke before, or story before, I'll tell it again for Halloween, because uh, it happened on Halloween, damn, it's kindergarten, uh, we all got dressed up for for uh, for school for Halloween, and we were going to school <laughs> uh, to have a parade. You know, for uh, for the for the whole school, we had to get together and parade around the whole school in our in our uh, Christmas or uh, Halloween outfits. <laughs> and damn, mom dressed me up like a girl for school. 
No bullshit, man. She gave me the damn dress. Frilly down under, I mean, the under parts, you know what I'm saying? Where is it? I guess the, the cotton, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> Frilly socks, the damn Buster Browns, and this freaking dress, bro, that was like, uh, it was pretty. It was like, <laughs> I mean, it, it was like uh, Nellie Olson's, you know, from Little House on the Prairie, you know what I mean? Real Sunday best type stuff. <laughs> and, uh, she made me go to school like that. I did not want to go, bro. I was like, no, I'm not going. <laughs> she walked me to the bus stop, sat there with the bu uh, at the bus stop with me until I got on the bus and cracked jokes at, at me the whole time, man. Remember, as soon as I got there, this one guy's like, hey, what's cooking? Good looking. <laughs> and, dude, I mean, I was traumatized for a long time, you know, over that shit, damn it. Um, so, I mean, I get to school and she's just like, oh, poor baby. <laughs> Look at him, he's so adorable. I'm like, oh God. <laughs> and uh, and I remember we had to walk the whole school, and everywhere I walked, man, people were just laughing and pointing at me, man. And just, oh, I mean, some of them were, you know, laughing at me. A lot of them were laughing at me. Some of them, I guess, were laughing with me. You know, I kind of gave them some uh, some enjoyment. But the whole time, the only thing I met, I remember seeing these guys of. I couldn't help but look out the corner of my eyes and see these, see these guys notice me. Oh my God, look at him. <laughs> and uh, so I just tried to focus on this guy right in front of me. His name was Steve, dude. Never forget it, a little redhead kid named Steve. And he had this damn like Charizard uniform. It was like a, it was like a, a, a green dinosaur uh, 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 costume. And I just remember just fixating on that tail, that little spiky tail, boy. Not wanting to look at anybody, boy. The tears just burning in my eyes, man. And, uh, I mean, I, I, you see, I still haven't forgot it. <laughs> I'm able to laugh about it now. But, man, for a long time there, I was like, Mama, I can't forgive you. <laughs> I can't forgive you, Mama. No. But I love my mom. She's always had a good sense of humor. Mmm. Last one. Speaking of good sense of humor and going to the store every day. I used to love going to the store with mom. <laughs> I'm not even lying. I don't know if Michael told you these stories before. I've got quite a few of them. I'll give you instances there. Just a few. Uh, we'd go to the store and mom would throw stuff. <laughs> What's up, brother? Okay. Yeah, she said right there. Okay, I got the camera going. Tell them, tell them my, my throwback stories. Telling them about about how mom used to damn throw food and stuff in the in the grocery stores. Have you ever told those stories? No, I, ha I know. <laughs> I remember one time you threw like a whole sausage. Remember that? I grabbed a whole freaking sausage. Man. It was a kielbasa. <laughs> It was like one of like a dried sausage type thing, and I just grabbed that sucker and woo! Just flipped that sucker. Guys, we're in the store with mom. We're just walking into an egg. <laughs> just drops in front of us. We're like, what the hell, mom? Mm -hmm. And then you would hear. <laughs> she, she knew. Yeah. You, know, you see a damn can of tuna <laughs> slide from underneath you. <laughs> like, good God, mom. I remember one time I had my girl with me. Yeah, nice. There you go. Thanks for the pizza, man. Yeah. Hey, that uh, that thin crust. I don't know what all was on that one, but that was a good one. That was hamburger, bacon, pineapple, and extra cheese. That and was a good. Extra sauce. That was a good one. Yeah, I know, boy. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, don't give him too many of those, man. I I ate the rest this morning, though, man. Thank you. I ate every crumb. Those are good, though. Awesome. Thanks, man. So anyway, yeah, so I'm walking through the store one time with my girlfriend, and uh, next thing I know, man, a loaf of bread hits this uh, display of cereal, <laughs> and this crashes down right in front of us, you know, and I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> you know, it was usually, it was usually funny, man, but eventually you grow up, you know, I love my mom, but I bet mom would still probably go do something like that today. <laughs> oh, man. It was really good, man. I used to like I, said, I used to love going to the store with mom. Let's go. Mom's always gonna do some gonna do some crazy stuff. I remember one time, man, it made me start doing crazy stuff. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. So uh so I'm walking through Walmart with my ex. 
And um, Ann Schuyler, I think, man, Schuyler's a baby. I'm stupid. And um, we're in the toy aisle, you know? And uh, I just grabbed this freaking damn Nerf Vortex ball and just launched that mother as hard as I could. I wasn't even thinking, just woo, launch that fucker straight up into the fucking damn security globe. <laughs> they had that damn, mm. Y'all don't know if you notice it, but they got big and black globes around their security cameras. <laughs> and, wow, it was Nerf, but it was one of those hard vortex type things with the tail on the end. Shroom, even whistled. Shroom, crash, smashed into that damn globe. Plastic went everywhere. Uh, <laughs> looked directly over at Sandy. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> and I mean, I feel all I was like toy soldiering on fucking <laughs> hundred miles an hour as fast as I could out this damn store without actually running, just fully expecting before I got to the door to sir come with me. And I'm sure that that probably cost those guys a thousand dollars because I mean them probably not, but I mean a good penny more than I had. So I apologize. I'm sorry about that. Uh, you know, sometimes you're saying you just can't take the greens anywhere. I like to say, Dad used to fart. <laughs> he damn sure did, man. I remember, damn, uh, like people, like this one time, man, um, somebody had walked by Dad, right? <clears throat> it was a couple of uh, women or whatever talking and stuff, and, and like, one of them kind of looked at Dad, they're talking, kind of point, kind of nudged, and, and Dad was like 600 pounds at this point, and, uh, I just wanted to be like F you being you out ever, you know? But uh, they're just kind of looked at him, you know? And as they walked past dad, maybe one Mississippi, two Mississippi. <laughs> that damn cackling ass, damn laugh, making fun of dad and crap like that, you know? And um, dad was like, fuck them bitches, you know? And, uh, he's like, come on. He sped up, went around the neck, into onto the next aisle, and. I mean, he just let a fucking launcher, dude. I mean, I don't know. I, I can't remember. I think it was loud. I guess they just didn't hear it or something. <laughs> but he just laid a nasty egg all on a lot, aisle 11. <laughs> and then we sped out of that on the next aisle 12. <laughs> you never seen a big man move so fast. And cut back onto the next aisle. As these ladies were coming back down the aisle that he just contaminated. <laughs> and we're over there and we and we hear him talking, you know, you see? <laughs> oh Jesus, what the f <laughs> Something died, oh my God, and you hear him gagging. <laughs> and dude, I was like nine years old. I'll never forget that to the day I die, man. Dad would just, yeah, and that's not the first time. He would do it in line. <laughs> Golly, very disgusting. So, but hey, you know what I mean? If you're going to have a disgusting attitude uh, about people and stuff, you know, prepare to be disgusted. So, anyway, that's it. I'm going to save this other crunch bar for later. I was about to put it behind my ear. That'll work right there. So, Armor Lunch Makers, I guess it makes a turd. Uh, I wouldn't suggest giving these to your kid for lunch because, hell, it wasn't much. Look, that was like pretty much all of them stacked up right there. Give your kids a little more to eat at school than this, man, because they're learning hard, working their brains and their bodies, man. They need that fuel to burn it. So, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and leave it with that. Hope you enjoyed my couple uh, throwback uh, Thursday stories. Um, <laughs> I know they're kind of embarrassing, uh, which y'all means y'all probably do like them. So, all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave it in here. I'm going to come back with y'all here in a little while to tell y'all about... Uh, uh, my substitute story, man. I was dating this girl. I'll tell y'all later. I'll tell you later.